Hello again, everybody. It's Takedown. I'm Scott Casper. This very special interview brought to you in part by our friends at Blue O4 Water. It's what the champions use. You'll find it all over the U.S. Open for a reason. Blue O4 Water. Let's head out to California to uh, talk to a young man who is taking a different route. And he joins us now. Does Aaron Pico, 17-year-old superstar. Aaron, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good, bud. I was uh, so pleased when I got the phone call yesterday about your uh, new relationship, your next relationship. This is a big one. You just signed a uh, an exclusive contract with a shoe company, and it's the first wrestler, you're the first wrestler in a long time to do a shoe deal with this company. Would you like to make the announcement? Yeah, um, I'm excited to be working with Nike. Um, I'm very, I'm the first person, a wrestler to, to do it. And, um, I'm excited to, to wear the shoe and, um, there's many athletes that they represent and for me to be part of that, be part of that team. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm really excited. I remember I'm when excited. I first got to see you wrestle at St. John Bosco and, and I went, gee, that is a, it, there's some purity to his wrestling. There's some purity to his style. And perhaps that's what Nike saw in you. That's perhaps what Eddie and the boys saw in you when they said, hey, let's get behind this guy. Well, your management really took the reins, as it were, and and put this whole deal together. Can you describe how it all went down? Yeah, I'm very fortunate to to be working with some great people. Um, my agent, Dwayne Zinkin, uh, definitely helps us out and, and uh, things like that. And, um, yeah, so they got the deal from me and... and um, we're all very excited. They're excited. My family's excited, and um, I'm pleased to be working with Nike. It's a very simple thing to do. Just draw a little swoosh on anything, and that's and then your signature. So I would imagine that's your new signature. Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's kind of it's kind of hard to draw. So I'm gonna have to work on it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling even at 17, you're gonna nail it within a matter of. Yep, it's done. Uh, You're still five foot seven, 138 pounds. You're going to be competing in Las Vegas at the U.S. Open at what? 145. 145. 60, right. Yeah. Are you are you missing uh, are you missing St. John Bosco and the guys? Oh yeah, I miss I miss um, all the guys there at St. John Bosco. Are great. That school is awesome. Um, I love being there. But um, it's kind of hard um, for all the traveling that I'm doing and and um, to to make it there. Uh, like I said, I'm doing my courses online. All my, you know, my core classes are online. But um, I still, I just talked to the head coach yesterday and uh, talked to some guys from there. My cousin actually goes there, so uh, I still keep in touch a little bit. But yeah, do I miss them? Yeah. But um, uh, you know, I'm traveling a lot, so it's kind of it's kind of hard. But I'm living loving the life that I'm living right now and and uh, training hard and and um, I'm happy. A lot of people don't realize how difficult it is, the life you're living. I mean, they may see that, oh, he's going to forgo his sophomore class. He's going to not go to college. Da, 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 da. Whatever they think they know, they perhaps don't know the whole story. You've been wrestling since age 14, so 13 years of your life you've put into the sport. It has become your best business decision, even at the young age of 17. You're making decisions that will affect the rest of your life. Yeah, absolutely. And um, like I said, I'm I, uh, surrounded by great people, great management and family. So they're definitely life changing uh, choices. But um, I feel that I'm in good hands and um, I'm really happy to be part of it. The company that is, uh, has signed you okay, and is managing you, Zenkin Entertainment, the, you know, these are former wrestlers. They understand us. Uh, but they have other guys that are former wrestlers there too, so it's not like you're uh, unique in the uh, in the on the roster. Uh, they handle guys like Cain Velasquez and Chuck Liddell, people you know whose styles, whose business acumen, whose whose careers I do respect. Uh, they have also insisted that uh, your training you know continue in areas like boxing, not just wrestling, but boxing and stand up and. And working jujitsu, can you talk about the variety that they're asking you to to perform? Yeah, I mean, I I boxed for for a long time. I was competing. Uh, I had like twenty three fights in boxing. I was traveling a lot and and uh, competing. So uh, I'm familiar with you know boxing and 
and a little bit of jiu-jitsu and, and kickboxing. So uh, they're definitely down the road where I need to definitely work on some things. But, um, yeah, I think when the time's right, I'm, I'm going to be definitely ready for to step in the cage. Mm. When the time is right. And, and you just said it, when the time is right, because there was some early reports that you would be stepping into the UFC cage before 2016, and those were wild speculations, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's uh, that'd be a, a little too young, uh, in my opinion. But um, you know, I'm with the management company and and B Wayne. You know, they're they're professionals, and Bob Cook is 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 the trainer. They're um, they're gonna you know let me know when, like you said, when the time is right, um, when everything is uh, you know when everything's all together because um, it's a different kind of sport. You just can't jump in there and and um, expect to be you know do the best you want to everything needs to be in place so when everything when you do step in it uh you're ready to go well if if i asked you to define a complete fighter uh a complete fighter who's a world champion what what does that complete fighter look like what's his bag of tools look like uh well i think you know i think a great fighter will you know starts off with a great boxer um with that can compete at a high level, um, like, you know, uh, spar with like, you know, great world champions and, and, they're, and are able to compete with world championship champions. And then I think, of course, you gotta be a, good, a great wrestler and, and, um, that's a must. And then, um, you know, jujitsu and, and, um, and kickboxing are all must. I think a complete fighter is just being a great and, great in all those areas but wrestling and boxing i think is the is the your strong points need to be yeah and i'm and i'm tending to agree with you boxing wrestling and will help get you to uh i think more rounded mma performance but mixed martial arts in and of itself that's something that you have to work on all by itself i mean that that is a a phenomenal and difficult uh, road to 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 take we're talking with Aaron Pico Anthony's son and and uh, when talking to your dad yesterday about this um your dad gets emotional he's very proud of you and I hope you know that yeah yeah I do <laughs> it's uh it's it's a good thing I think it helps dads keep everything in check uh when his son has an ultimate goal of the 2016 Olympic Games in Brazil he takes it personal, and I do too. Um, where are you at with the 2016 Olympic Games in Brazil? Is that your ultimate goal? Yeah, de I mean, definitely. I definitely want to try to make try to make that team. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to do it. Um, and um, and let's say something goes, you know, something goes wrong, and I don't make it. Um, you know, that's not the end road. You know, so just got to keep moving forward. But I definitely do want to make that team and. And go win Olympic gold medal at 19. But like I said, if, if something does go something go does go wrong, um, it's not the end of the world. We just got to keep moving forward. And 2020 is there, and and um, then the next step is to make that team and, and win Olympic championship in 2020. Is traveling, is, is traveling getting old for you? Every time I turn around, there you and I are. It's worked for me, but right now you're still traveling for competition. Where are you at on travel? I'm having a hard time getting my hands around that. Um, no, I, I love it. My coach and I are always traveling together and and um, seeing you know Europe and different places. It's uh, it's definitely a good time that I have. And do I miss home? Absolutely, home is home. But um, at the end of the day, it's just part of the sport, and it needs to be done in order to improve as a wrestler. So. Uh, I love it. Um, I'm with my coach. Now. My dad goes sometimes, not all the time, but um, whenever he can. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to future trips. I, I know I got a few trips coming up, and um, in the future, I'm going to be traveling a lot too. So, I better get used to it. <laughs> I mean, you're kind of a rock star, dude. You're you're up there with the Justin Bieber's and the Miley Cyruses, and <laughs> people are getting a lot of visibility for a lot of different reasons. You obviously for doing things well them for being kind of uh uh well well just just saying maybe they're not making the right decisions i doubt very much you're going to find omar delgado offering them up any kind of uh um, suggestions or any kind of uh, advice what what kind of advice has coach omar delgado extended to you oh uh, you know i can go to coach omar omar 
uh, for everything. He's just, uh, he's a great person and great guy. Um, you know, we always talk and he says that, you know, you're, you're doing good and, you know, stay humble, you know, um, you know, God is with you. That's one thing he always tells me. And, and, um, you know, I, I, you know, I love coach Omar. I love being with him whenever I'm around him. I can, you know, talk to him and, and, um, feel, I feel, uh, and I feel at home with him, especially there at St. John Bosco. And he's a great guy, and I'm I'm happy to get to know. I'm happy to know him. Bob Cook, uh, your one of your MMA trainers, told MMA Fighting's Dave Meltzer, buddy of mine, that uh, you are like someone from a different world, and the greatest MMA prospect he's ever seen. He uh, champions the way you hold your hands and the way you throw your hands. Um, I think these are very strong observations from a guy who I respect a great deal. But uh, how does that make you feel when you hear Bob Cook and Dave Meltzer perhaps uh, commiserating on you and uh, something as as difficult as boxing? Uh, It's kind of... You know, I, I take it as a great compliment, but uh, it's still kind of kind of weird to me. It's kind of I don't know. I don't know how to really explain it. It's just um, I've always done what I what I love, and and I've always had fun with it. And and uh, to develop into a great you know good boxer and a great wrestler, and um, it's just an honor for them to be able to say that. And um, that just means I got to keep doing more and more. So uh, you know, to keep that going, you know, I don't want to nothing stops now and and um we're just training and i'm having a good time doing it and then what well, when i hear that it just makes me want to you know do more things so i'm very fortunate to have those guys say that you know it's a little bit of a confidence booster and and um motivation talk to me about, about the about club you're wrestling with uh, and wrestling for yeah uh tide mercury uh out in santa marina california um it's a great club. We're uh, doing big things. You know, Andy Bart is uh, definitely a great guy, and uh, helping out us, helping us out with Ty Mercury, and and um, you know, we're looking. You know, we look like a strong team, and we're going to do some good things at the U.S. Open. Gosh, you've already got so much success as a team. I can't imagine that changing. You've signed up some great individuals like yourself, or they have anyway. Brian Reed Bayato for the uh, the Register said January thirteenth. Aaron Pico is on the cusp of history. Well, with this news of uh, you signing with Nike, my friend, I think you passed the cusp. I think you are making history. My challenge to you, your father, your mother, uh, your coaches and everything, uh, keep it real as you are. Dude, it's just uh, it's just stunning to watch how this is all unfolding. Congratulations. And uh, I know there's some people that you probably want to say hey to and uh, perhaps extend uh, a thank you to who 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 are those folks? Ah, uh, you know, first of all, it's my family and coaches and and my management, uh, D. Wayne Zinkin over there. Everybody uh, that's helping me out, um, D. Throne Royalty, Nike, everybody that's um, helping me along this journey. Uh, Andy Barth, um, I can't thank you guys enough, and um, I'm looking forward to the future. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun journey for sure. Got a lot of love in there, don't you? Don't you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I can't do without these, without the team. Um, you know, it's just not me. Uh, it's it's all them. It's a, it's very stressful for them more so than me. Uh, so, I I love them a lot, and it's, uh, without them, I definitely would not be, you know, on the cusp of history or however it's going to be. It's just um, they're they're the reason why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. Mm. Joey Krebs sends his best. He's our West Coast correspondent out there and one of your biggest fans, and I think you know that. He's a good guy, and uh, he's been he's been chasing you for a while, covering your story as, as it's un, uh, unfolding. It's outstanding. Good job out of you, Aaron. I appreciate the time this morning. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'm looking forward to Vegas and seeing you there. Yeah, I'll see you at the hotel, man. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, anybody that wants to step onto the mat. And I think your your probably your ultimate goal is going to be that golden circle. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you operate, as it were. I think you're becoming a bit of a doctor. 
<laughs> Aaron Pico, it's been our pleasure. Newly signed with Nike. That's the news. We'll uh, continue on with our coverage of the sport as we do. Aaron Pico has been our guest from California. Thanks, Aaron. I appreciate it. Thank you.